As I was looking at the Belarus map during my research, the North and Far East region was something that intrigued me. This is a region that many tourists don't visit and pay attention to. I was also curious to see what the people and places are like in areas close to the borders. I took a three-hour high-speed train from Minsk for 16 Belarusian rubles. Prior to my departure, I managed to get in touch with Vitaly, whom I found through couch surfing. Despite our language barriers, Vitaly was very excited to show me his hometown. Good afternoon. I am currently in Vitebsk, located in the northeastern part of Belarus, situated at the border of Russia, Lithuania and Latvia. This city itself is considered to be the oldest uh, sort of ancient city of the country, the cultural center of the country. So I'm just excited, excited to showcase it to you what the city looks like. Being one of the oldest cities in Belarus, Vicheps is believed to be found in 974 by the Princess Olga of Kiev and has been mentioned in ancient Russian chronicles since the 11th century. This northernmost regional city has an advantageous geographical location as it is located at the crossroads of one of the most important trade between Russia, Baltic states, Ukraine, Central and Western Europe. If you can see behind me, this is the Fiteps Hotel, which reminds me of the Minsk Hotel in the capital city, of course. And the building is definitely one of the oldest in the city because you can definitely feel the sense of that Soviet building and uh, it's still, you know, standing right here to remind you the old times. But this is located in the center of the city. I am with Vitali. Hello. <laughs> Vitali is a local from Vitebs and have been so has been so very kind in hosting me and he is taking me to the Saint Barbara church behind me because of the magnificent architecture that he thinks is worth showing. Saint Barbara is the oldest Catholic church in Vitebs city. There are over five Catholic churches. Personally for me as a tourist when I first saw this the red brick architecture makes it a stands out building or um, you know one of the landmarks of the city I think. <music> Vitaly is bringing me to this Polots market. Um, and I was wondering if they're still open and I said let's go because it's always interesting to see market all around the world and perhaps this market is currently not as bustling as it would be on the weekend but there are still people selling things We have come to my favorite part, my personal favorite in the market, which is the fresh produce where you can find all kinds of fruits and probably onions, apples, pomegranate, um, tomatoes, and it is so colorful. Sometimes market is the best way to introduce yourself to the local culture, what the people like to eat and many more. don't know anything about Belarusian, Russian or Ukrainian. These are part of the East Slavic people, whereas their sort of siblings are considerably like 
the Balkans people are con are considered as the South Slavic people. And for me personally, this is interesting note to think about um, what the people look like, the language, the demeanor, the personality. So the building behind me is the train station that was built in 1919, considerably to be one of the oldest and historical landmark of the city, definitely. I was joking and asking Vitaly whether people in Belarus need to smile more and as I asked him, why do you think that they don't smile more and he said, because the weather is cold so for them to smile it gets too cold for the teeth. Is that right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> monument in Vitebsk city known to be the victory because this commemorate those who fight against the German during the Second World War II if I'm not mistaken and the scale of this is so massive so we are currently in the area where I find it quite interesting. I asked him, what is this? And the, uh, the Vitaly said, this is sort of a monument dedicated to the war in, where is it? War in Afghanistan, 1979. 1989. Yeah, so I think there is, during those time I remembered watching one of these documentaries. During those time there was some kind of wars happened in Afghanistan with the Soviet Union and all of these tanks are sort of real. I don't know if you can see but it extends to all of this helicopter that probably used to transport all of the Soviet army. Where are we now? What is this called again? The place? Bachkova Hata. Bashko, Bachkova Hata. House, father's house. Father's oh, house. house. So this reminds me of Stolovaya, which means canteen. So you have selections of many things, starting from salad. I get one salad. Milk. Ah, okay. Yes. So it's traditional to sort of get a soup, a salad, and sort of like the main hearty meal. They usually put sour cream. Um, next one would be... Is that meatball? Um, Cutlet, yes. 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 Pork. Uh, pork, yes, okay. Um, I'll have... Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, yes, okay. Yeah. So I've got uh, meatball and vegetables right here. Ah, this so, is traditional. Ah! I will definitely start with the soup. What is this name? Uh, Rasolnik. Rasolnik. Usually soup right here is mixed with sour cream. That is so very hearty. What do you say? Um, you know, delicious, like, mmm, very good. Ochins Kusno. Vkusno. 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 Ochin Vkusno. Da. 
Babka. Babka. Oh, from potato? Yes. That? <laughs> it tastes probably like potato stew. Belarus is so very famous for its potato. There's a slang for Belarusian people known as Bab... Bulbash. Bulbash. <laughs> Bulbash, which basically means that the people of potato. A traditional snack called as Hologits. And this is jelly type of food. If you can see the texture inside of it, are probably chicken or a selection of different type of meat if you wish and this is Belarusian wasabi over here you have pickle a cucumber pork garlic raw garlic green onion your favorite <laughs> For some people who drink vodka, they would generally eat cucumber or even garlic afterwards to reduce the unpleasant taste. Fruit drinks such as this one, I got blueberry and Vitali got raspberry and this is called compote. for watching today's video thank you to Vitali <laughs> thank you to him that he's so kind to showcase Fitev City to me are you happy yeah, yeah. I'm happy very happy <laughs> thank you so much again don't forget to let me know what you think down in the comment section below would you actually travel to different countries or places that are not famous but also would like to hang out with locals so that you can also see the city or the the places that they know so much about don't forget to also check out my patreon page if you wish to support a creator like me and my work see you again next time bye bye bye